Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and today we are going to install Windows 11 on an external SSD with all the features that Bootcamp has. So this is a really interesting video to share. The last one that I did as uh, three or four years old, so it is time to update the YouTube library. Now, the reasons that I'm sharing this guide with you guys is that at this moment, the Windows 11 installation on Macs is still problematic, so this might help. Also, the installation of Windows on external drives, although it's very handy, it is also problematic. And the method that I'm sharing with you today is the one that gives me more stability in terms of Windows on external hard drive. So if in your particular case, sometimes you have issues in rebooting and things like that, with this method, you won't have that. Also, because it's a free method, the software that we are going to use, it's all free. And lastly, there is a small detail which I love and it's really useful, which is the bootcamp tool to reboot from Windows to macOS in a correct manner and then from macOS to Windows and so on and so forth. There are a few guides that you will install Windows uh, on external hard drive. You will lose the bootcamp tool to restart to macOS and you will end up with a messy installation that you will have to shut down your computer, remove the hard drive, boot it back again, which is bad for the file structure of the system and so on and so forth. So those are the reasons that I'm going to share with you this awesome guy. Now the hardware that I'll be using is a Mac Mini late 2018 i5 model with 32 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage. I'll be using the Sabrent 2 terabytes to install Windows externally. We have reviewed this SSD here on the channel. I will leave some links on the YouTube cards and also down below. But just to share with you that I use this kind of storage for everything, including Mac OS when necessary and video editing. For example, I use the eight terabytes, which is in my opinion, a great investment because after four or five years, when I sell my Mac mini and get a new one, regardless of the model, Mac mini, Mac Pro, doesn't matter. I will keep my investment right over here and I don't need to constantly be paying for storage that will go to another person. So my investment is right over here and we can have windows on one and mac os on the other one in terms of speeds if you are wondering we will get the same or more and i will be also using the agon pro display right over here from aoc with 240 hertz which is a awesome gaming display now that being said let's start with this guide we will start by installing windows 10 internally right over here and then we will migrate windows 10 from the internal ssd to the external one we will delete everything from the internal one and keep only mac os and then at the end we will upgrade to windows 11 which is optional so to start off we will need to download the windows 10 iso image from the microsoft website then we will need to go to the applications folder utilities bootcamp assistance and at this moment we should remove any external hard drive or ssd or sd card or whatever because bootcamp will not run if we have anything plugged in once we are ready just press continue on the bootcamp assistance and we will start the installation. Now, in my particular case, I've got SIP disabled, but if you have enabled, it's all fine. It doesn't matter. Enabled or disabled, it will work both ways. So just leave as it is on your particular case. Select the Windows partition and press install. In my particular case, I did choose about 40 gigabytes, something like that for the installation and that will be it because it's just temporary. After that, Bootcamp will take a while preparing the installation files, all the necessary files. I will speed up the video, of course, so that you don't fall asleep. But once it finishes, it will restart on the Windows setup. Now, after this step, we just need to proceed with the normal Windows installation like we do it on any other system, choosing the several options. This process will also take a few minutes so just have that in mind but once it finishes it will reboot into the final stage of the installation in my particular case i'm using the Puchkis version of windows so sorry about that but although you don't understand you will see that the installation is exactly the same now mac will reboot uh, a couple of times during this process and once it reboots again we will keep on following the windows installation at this final stage just choosing language location and so on and then windows will start with the bootcamp driver installer automatically now we just need to press install and proceed with the normal installation once the installation is finished the computer will 
reboot again and when it boots we have the Windows 10 installation completely here on our internal SSD. Now let's start with the migration of the Windows 10 installation to our external SSD. For that we will start by plugging in the SSD, in my particular case the Sagrant Extreme. Uh, we will have to open our browser and search for Macrium Reflect, which at this moment the latest version is version 8. We will choose Home Free Edition and we just need to insert our email address so that we can receive the download link and also the code to activate the license. Once we download it, we just need to execute the Macrium Reflect app. Uh, to download the uh, required file, which the app will do everything automatically and it will install. Here we will need to provide our email and also the code. And once it finishes the installation, now we can launch the Macrium Reflect. Now we just need to select the Boot Camp Drive as a source drive and choose our external SSD as the destination drive. Here we will find on the source uh, several partitions. We just need to select two. One is called EFI, e and the other one is called Bootcamp Partition. We can leave the other two because they are related to macOS and here we just want Windows on our external drive. Optionally, we can also delete partitions on the destination SSD so that it's all clear. But if we don't, uh, the system will do it by itself. After that, we just need to press continue and then next, next until the process starts. This process will take, in my particular case, roughly five minutes, but this will depend largely on the SSD that we are going to use. And once it finished, uh, if you don't see the space, the total space that your disk have, just open disk management and then um, press right click on the external SSD and choose expand size of the SSD so that it can occupy all the space. After that, we will restart to macOS using the bootcamp tool on the bottom right corner of our screen. And once we are on macOS, we will go to system preferences and then we will select the boot disk. And in this time, we will select boot from the external Windows installation just to test out if everything is okay. And everything should be okay. So as you can see by my screen, it did boot fine on macOS on our external SSD. So that is just great. We have right now Windows 10 working on the external SSD. Now what we are going to do is to clean the internal SSD so that we are only with macOS on the internal and Windows on the external. So let's reboot back again to Mac OS using the bootcamp tool on Windows, which is just awesome. And once we are on uh, Mac OS, we will need to disconnect the SSD and go once again to apps and then utilities and bootcamp assistant. Once we start the bootcamp assistant, uh, we will need to press continue and it will ask us if you want to remove the installation of bootcamp from our internal SSD. We will say yes or press continue. And once it finishes, we have our free space back again on macOS, everything for macOS. And at this moment, I can plug back in my SSD and boot into Windows, just by going to System Preferences, selecting the drive and select Reboot. And right now we will boot into Windows on the external SSD and we will have Mac OS on the internal and Windows on the external. Now, we are with Windows 10, but uh, on this particular video, we will see optionally how to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. There are some guides that will ask you to do a lot of stuff. This one right over here, it's really, quick and easy. You will need to download a tool, which I will leave a link down below. And once you download that tool, you have two options. Either you run the tool and ask to download Windows ISO, or in my particular case, I did download the Windows 11 ISO previous from the Microsoft website. So if you are doing like myself, you already have your Windows 11 ISO on the computer. You just need to, you just need to execute this app, select Windows ISO, and then it will search for, it will start the installation, it, it will search for updates and install um, necessary files if required. Then it will start the Windows 11 installation. And of course, this will take a while because it will update from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And guys, this is it. It will take some time for the installation to finish. It will reboot quite a few times back to Windows and then finalizing this and installing that. Na, 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 na. The time that I took to say this, bah, 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 you already have your Windows 11 installation on the external 
SSD. Of course, it's a lot quicker here than doing it, but this is, in my opinion, the easiest and best way in one hand to put a Windows 10 or 11 on an external SSD and also to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 on a Mac. That being said, hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up, which is really appreciated right over here. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.